So this is Constantine. Uh, this is the second match between Drinking and Sohum. And uh, Andrew, my co-caster, is going to be joining us soon enough. The first match you're going to see probably already seen the results have been won by uh, Drinking for uh, uh, with four points scored by the corporation. And uh, now we're seeing the rematch versus Criminal versus Hasbaro. I think it's not one of the most classic matchups in this game by now. Who's favored though? Who's what? Who's favored, do you think? Criminal or Hasbaro? Criminal is tough, man. It's um, depending on the deck. If it's a classic criminal, you know, Corroder and uh, uh, Code and uh, Guardians and all the classic tricks, it's very powerful by itself. And from what I see, that's the way it is. I didn't expect the plus crit, though. When you yeah, have... and uh, maybe it has the E3 uh, feedback implants. I don't know. I mean, you have Crash Space. Crash Space is so much better than plus crit if you don't have to use it. Yeah, definitely. I don't know why. I, I almost never play passing. I play plus crit on other runners because of the, of, I save the influence. But on criminal, I mean, the crash space, it's pretty much the same thing and saves you the tag cost. Maybe he just... Can still, well, you can still use it for the um, removing tags, at least. Mm. So it has a, an, an added benefit. Yeah, well, let's see. The, the one thing it doesn't do, it doesn't work with the uh, pri uh, private security force as well. Mm. True. But then again, you can uh, save yourself from the last damage from the PS, uh, PSF. So, pretty good start from the Hasbiroid. He got immediately two ice to protect, but he got four ice in his starting hands. That's amazingly good. And I think... Uh, yeah, the problem is uh, three of those are barriers, not very strong barriers. And he has and, a corroder uh, in hand. Ouch. He does have corroders. And a starting compromise employee, which is really good. You know, a starting compromise employee during the course of the game is going to give you at least 10 credits. True, true. And if, uh, he also got a maker's eye, so if he goes on R&D now, yeah. that will get interesting. Oh, yes. And he should go on R&D, probably. Absolutely. And um, it's uh, quite interesting that um, the compromise employee, uh, most people, when it came out, uh, were not really impressed because they were like, ah, it's not very good as links, not very good as economy, it's worthless, blah. But uh, if you actually get one first turn, it's almost a free uh, bank run. Bank job, if you uh, think yeah, about the, the, Yeah, the, but that's why people don't like him, because you have to get him early on. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Bad, bad. He's, he's happy because he sees two, <laughs> two eyes that he, uh, he can go through, but... Okay, uh... no biggie, no biggie. But honestly, why, why, why run like this? Just run first and then use your Mercus. I don't, don't be in a hurry. Especially, I mean, um, what if you hit with has You just don't want to run with your last click. What if that was a victor? Ouch! Don't you agree? Don't forget you're supposed to talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does make sense, but uh, not that many people play victor, and Ice Wall was the only one, so he figured, yeah, just go for it. I don't know. Hard to say. If I were him, I would have just run on uh, R&D the first one. Mm. Okay. So I wonder if he played his agenda of naked. What did he play? He played another part campaign. That's going to be a, be a lot of money. Oh, come on. Just just run. You have, you have your corroder. What do you care? Run. Get in HQ. There we go. Drinking played a lot of cards. He's, uh, he has one thirty percent chance to get an agenda. Nope. But uh, poor uh, drinking is full of uh, uh, barriers. So if I was now. Uh, so I would be trusting those pad campaigns. Are you still here? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, and he just got uh, one more barrier. <laughs> yeah. 
But really, I mean, um, what if you have the monetary advantage like Criminal does, you just want to trust those bad campaigns. I mean, uh, why leave them? Why why let him get money for free? Yeah, but uh, right now he doesn't have the money. He would have to draw one click at a time. No, then, he... Uh... Yeah, kinda, kinda. He can... Uh, Oh, we saw, yeah. There's an itchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he does have sneak door beta, so... He does, then, indeed. Now, what he needs to do is run that itchy and uh, let him raise it and then play that sneak door. Ooh, Desperado, second, third turn. Very nice. Yeah. If he manages to get those runs in, uh, he's gonna get a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How much money does he uh, has by um, if he actually plays a desperado and runs it's gonna be a bad idea. He's going to get uh, traced. Ah oh, there we go, there's the money. But he does play much safer than I would. I'm not sure I agree with the slow play he's doing. Yeah, I think what, he's actually afraid of, afraid of an H. I think he's worried that uh... What he really needs to do now is uh, play Desperado, run those pad campaigns, trust him, he's going to cost him only three per pad campaign. It's not a bad idea at all. Yeah, I think he'll do it now. Is that the toll booth? Or what is it? Yeah, there we go, toll booth. If he manages to raise that um, mandatory upgrades, it's going to be big. It's too yeah, early in the game. Huge. It's going to be absolutely huge. My game kind of stuck. Okay, there we go. Oh, but it's not. It's a melange. Yeah, it's a melange. That's why you put it. Oh, not a bad oh. idea. Not a bad he idea. Need, he, he doesn't need to rush that, uh, rush that mandatory. So he can just keep it in his hand for a while. Absolutely. So what he, what the criminal really needs to do now is run that headquarters and then run that melange. But he's playing it to save. That's why they say, ladies and gentlemen, run soon, run often. Especially when you have a Desperado. Yeah, absolutely. With Desperado, you really need to run often. It just uh, mean there's no point in getting using clicks to gain credits when you can run. There we go. Here comes the thing. Yeah, well, what, what this basically means is he won't run the pad campaigns anymore. It's not worth it. Hmm. Which is going to mean even more money for uh, uh, has Bayer then at this point if he's going to get this amount of money it's going to be really difficult for Criminal to come back. Criminal is stronger in the early game but if you out outpace him he's in a really bad position. Yeah but I think he's already outpaced so I think he's going into that really bad position and uh, shall yeah. we bet five credits that we're going to see a uh, Janus? We're going to see what? A uh, uh, Janus, a uh, Janus. A uh, Janus? Yeah. Uh, Maybe. Bad, bad choice. Bad choice. He's even going to lose his three credits. Oh, brutal, brutal. You run far too late, my friend. You know what's very annoying? Sometimes I uh, run the toll booth and I have like two credits and I say, okay, I'm just going to end my run and uh, I'll see that it's a toll booth. And then the compromise employee gives me a credit and I lose all of them. And I'm like, no! <laughs> Cash, you compromised employee. He compromised you as well. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Some more melanzies. There's a snare in his hand now, so... Yeah, yeah that's a reason why he wants to play melanz now. Let's get the money, nice and clean. There's no reason why he should rush this. He, I think he can melange at least one more turn. Yeah, absolutely. Just get rid of one of the Wall of Statics. Or even just play three ice and then Wall of Ice for next turn, comfortably. So what, what the criminal really needs to do now is uh, get uh, that uh, sneak door beta and start running maybe to get some parasites, some uh, data suckers. Oh, come on. Get some money, get your sneak door out at least. That would have been three credits right there. Paying, paying the cost of that uh, 
סניקטור בטא. אוקיי. Okay. I don't know why he ran two times in the archives. I mean, why, why, yeah, why? He, he made a miscalculation. He can't pay the, he can't pay the toll booth anyway. What do you mean? Yeah, he, he ran, now he, he, what he was trying to do, he's trying to get the two data suckers and then just run on that remote server. Okay, okay. He doesn't have the money for that, yeah. So... Drinking is a nice guy? Yeah. Or maybe not. Let's see if he let him take it back. He let him because he increased the click counter, so ah, okay, he did okay. himself some. But unfortunately that's going to be yet another Melange turn for him and then he doesn't need Melange anymore. I mean, yeah, very th the pad campaigns themselves are going to give him the rest that he needs. Definitely. And plus so, the click he gets when he installs something, he, he, he's piled on money. Yeah, I, mean, I think drinking now does have it so easy. He can just take his time and just totally annihilate poor criminal. So what I would do in this case, just play Melange. You know he's going to go and trust it next time and then just play a fort three eyes on top and just score everything you need. Yeah, that that should work just fine. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And he doesn't. He throws the owl of static. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. I'm not, I don't understand why Criminal is not uh, running R&D at all. I mean, last time he ran two times archives, yeah. Why didn't he run R&D? He could have seen one card. It's very, very powerful to know what's and coming. And it costs him absolutely nothing, because he gets the, the credit back from the Desperado. Absolutely. So, why? Why are you not... Yeah, a, and he's in such a bad position now. Because, yeah, he just drew, he wants to play that short gamble, he wants that peacock in, complicated. I think he's uh, not playing it right. What? Is he running? No. Come on, play your full gamble first. Why does he, it's 27 credits, and he's going to get pretty much, he's going to get two every turn, probably three in most of them. It's, yeah, wasted money. Uh, that's, I mean, uh, that's what uh, HB wants. You know, okay, waste your money tracing my uh, Melanz. I don't need it anymore. Exactly. He would have trashed it himself. Yeah, absolutely. Next day, he would have trashed it himself. I don't know if he would have done it next turn, because, yeah, maybe he wants more than just the HE on that server, but still, he wasn't going to use it. Oh. Criminal is uh, actually... He's shooting himself in the foot. The only chance he has at the moment is running on archives, eh, uh, R&D. Getting to see the, what's coming, snipe an agenda. He needs he, actually... He sees, that, he sees that card for free, and he hasn't seen that many agenda. And like, uh, what, what is he thinking? And the funny thing is that he just needs five points to win, yeah? If he gets five points of agendas, you win the game. So he's really he's, uh, shooting himself in the foot. He, he should really be running R&D. And just try to snipe those agendas. Don't care. The, let him win. If you uh, actually know you, he lost the previous game. He actually needs to yeah, win. He, lost. he needs he needs all of them, but still go for it and go fast. That's the whole point. Yeah, he needs to win the game and he needs to stop HB from scoring uh, five points. Yeah. So that's probably not going to happen. If if that mandatory upgrades get scored, it's done. No, and it's going to be scored absolutely. Yeah, I, th I think he's going to put it down now, which is what yeah. he should do probably. Play twice. Play the mandatory upgrades. There's no sign he's going to uh, be able to stop him. Oh, play that way, Enigma as well. Oh, I don't know, I think the wall of static. And you're golden. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's doing. Yeah, what are your thoughts about the mandatory upgrades? It's so good if you manage to score it early, but uh, if it comes late in the game, oh, you really don't want that card. It's, um, I don't know, I mean, uh, it's, every time I've seen uh, somebody score it against me, it's like the game becomes amazingly hard afterwards. 
Yeah, it's just like four clicks for the corpus. Yeah. Impossible. It's and amazing when you when you because you'll be able to play my lunch and install one card so you don't have to trust it. So yeah, this... the biggest thing for Has Biorate is they they can score um accelerated beta test out of their hand. True. Or it's they huge. Yeah, there's so many uses for it. I mean, wipe all counters and protect your R&D. Oh, sorry, noise, you won't get in next turn. Yeah, very powerful, very powerful agenda. Have you ever seen uh, two of them scored? Uh, no, but a friend of mine told me the story of how he managed to have eight clicks for one turn. By Rex Labor and two of them? Eh? Huh? Uh, two two of them scored and uh, sorry, two, of them. two of them scored and the Biotic Labor too. Or, yeah, oh. actually two of them scored three Biotic Labor. Yeah, he just did it for the fun, right? Uh, probably I don't remember. I think maybe he just said, "I'm going to virus to wipe all virus counters two times because I can." <laughs> yeah, it does make sense. Just piss them off. <laughs> uh, finally, decided to run some R and D. Uh, too little, too late. Uh, might not be. Might not be. Uh. I don't know. I really don't think he has a, any reason to, uh, any chance to score any good agendas now. It's, it's it's not a bad idea. I mean, it's it's, it's uh, the best thing you should have been doing every turn until now. Yeah. To be fair, to be fair, it did benefit him that he didn't run already because there was no agendas coming. Yeah, so but he didn't know that. He didn't know that. True, but. Uh, Uber knows to him he did manage to save a bit of money. Or, actually, yeah. he didn't save so much money. He did manage to... Uh, uh, actually, he did save one credit because he was running archives. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <gasps> yeah no, I got it. No! Yeah. Ho, ho. Why in the world did he decide to run on that? Oh, I just got paid for Oh, uh, no! Do you think he'll trash the corona? <laughs> <laughs> no, no way. Drinking is so nice, he may just trust his uh, <laughs> data cycle. No. 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 <laughs> That's not gonna happen. There we go. Bam bam. Yeah, we're gonna see a mandatory upgrade score. Absolutely. There's no doubt about it. This game is so in the bag for a husband. It's just playing it is a formality at this moment. I don't think poor criminal has any chance of a comeback anymore. Unless, I don't know, he plays um, uh, uh, Maker Zion scores three agendas out of R of R and D or something. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> did you see how much he reinforced his trace? Yeah, I have no idea. He just did it for the fun. No, oh, he did it because he's going to waste a card and just. He traced, he trust his uh, Snickdor bet actually. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, honest. Where is it? Is he in the hand? Yeah, oh. yeah, he just drew it. Just play it in that, uh, play it in that server and laugh. He, he's gonna do it, but first he wants to score the mandatory upgrades. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. So, let's see if he can get that make his eye. That's his only hope. Yeah, and he's maker, Maker's Eye and Crypsis or another Corroder, so... Yeah. Uh, go. he got the Special Order. Yeah. Let's see if he'll play it before he plays his uh, Sur Gamble. Huh. No. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have some faith in the man's kill. <laughs> But uh, his hand is so, um, so uh, how do you call it, uh, stuffed at the moment with useless cards. Yeah, plus still Krapas is not doing anything for him. Yeah. What? Huh? What's he doing? Derp. <laughs> I think he's maybe tired. It's a bit late in the night, so...
Yeah, the thing is, what do you do now as Hans Bayroid? He's going to score the mandatory upgrades, but uh, if he doesn't get an agenda in hand, do you draw for them? Yeah, at this moment, yeah, absolutely. What do you want to do at this moment? Just draw the agendas and score them immediately. I mean, uh, the criminal at the moment does, doesn't have any anything to do, so you want to score them now. I hope he didn't drop. Yeah. Yeah, but that's a problem. You don't know what you'll draw. And maybe he wants the Janus in. He can just wait and put it there. And that makes it unbreakable, basically. Mm. But he needs more money than what he has right now. Yeah. He didn't even get a bank job. Bank jobs would have been really useful now. Yeah, but he did get a, another uh, short gamble, which is pretty good, too. True, true. Not as good as a bank sub, though. No, especially with that Desperado. There you go, the plus grids. He had actually forgotten about his brain damage, if you noticed. So the game had to re remind him. Oh, yeah. your hand size is for There you see. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we saw we have an archer too. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think he'll uh, trash the mandatory upgrades for an archer. Probably not. And you? He did style another ice, just as a icing to the cake. Nope, not getting into R and D anymore. Oh, <laughs> which is which is the right move. Just imagine him trying to run on R D with five uh, with one click. Yeah, that's yeah. He's not gonna do that. Mm. He did run into a face full of Vitsi though. Just you do not run has Bayard with one click. You just don't do it. Yeah, it is such a good piece of ice. Have you seen any um, any has Bioroid running? Uh, uh, how do you call it? Precognition. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. With an um, with accelerated beta test. Yeah, it's actually an amazingly good combo for it. But I see so few people actually doing it. I'm yeah, the problem is you, you have to get a timing just right, and that's not always as easy as thing you think. So. It's it's one of those decks in which if the timing doesn't work, it really screws up a lot of your deck. You can still play it, and it's not like it's unplayable, but uh, not any what you want it. Mm. Why did he trust the tag now? I'm not sure what he's trying to achieve with that. He wants to inside job that server. That's what's going to happen. Not a bad idea, but uh, I'm pretty sure our uh, friend is going to play another ice before he actually does that. And he still has 16 credits left, eh? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's going to play that. Um, there you go. And now. Uh, the Adonis campaign. Yeah, he's just going to leave it there for a while. Yeah, and now uh, he's going to play it, and then uh, I think uh, Gabriel is going to run it to try to stop him from scoring an agenda. And he's just going to waste his inside job. Yeah, I mean, he has to, because... Uh, Actually, if, if I was drinking at this point, I would have been playing a snare. <laughs> yeah, it would have been nice. Would have been such a, like, uh -uh, troll -lol -lol. I'm pretty definite he's going to play an inside job. Hack. A stem hack into a snare is about the funniest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm not blaming the people that stem hacked into a snare. Uh, I know I've done it. There we go. Straight inside job. Yeah. yeah it's... <sighs> but uh, he may he... have. Does he have the credits? He has. He doesn't have the credits to break it. He doesn't know this, but he does not have the credits to break it. To break what? The toll booth. Oh. Okay, yeah, he was, he was, yeah, you know, it was okay because he had the compromised employee and he was uh, expecting the res. And now that, uh, 
Yeah, yeah but now he's yeah. he's just go, no no he's just going to pass the toll booth. He didn't raise. Yeah, sir. Sort of now. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, he gets an unrest at on his campaign. This is yeah. He, sh he should definitely not trash it. He's definitely beating himself now. He's like, oh no. That's why you need the filtration, folks. I don't know if I, if I was um, if I was drinking, I would have uh, rested. it. It would have cost him seven because he was going all the way. Yeah, absolutely. It why? Would have cost the a bit, but. What does it matter? You don't use the H as a surprise, you use it as the, the exactly. turn, basically. Exactly. And you save your uh, thing, but maybe he just wants to keep the H as a surprise. Oh, he trashed it. He did? Oh no. So unnecessary. Yeah, absolutely. The drinking already has the money, he doesn't care. Yeah, from, from like that point on, he could just presume it's infinite. Okay, now let's see how he handles the rest. Try card. Well, at least he got some money. You know, it would. That's why it would have been so funny to play that snare. I mean, um, at some point you expect the runner to get his surprise, his steam hacks, and his. Uh, uh, inside jobs and his whatever and uh, once you've gone a few turns and you haven't seen any surprises from the runner you want to play your uh, trap you want to uh, make him think that uh, uh, you expect him that he won't be able to run and then you play a trap so when he plays his surprise he gets a face, f face full of snares yeah, that does make sense, but uh, this is going to be interesting. We're going to see um, two mandatory upgrades scored. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. He is not getting through that server. No. no. Poor Gabriel is such a bad position. Will the game continue uh, after he scores that one? What do you mean? There's no point, right? Uh, after he scores the mandatory upgrades, uh, we stop the game, right? Unless uh, Sohum wants to uh, concede. Um, okay, we just keep on going until it's the uh, very end, even though he can't win anymore. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, can, we can stop the cast for us. It's probably done deal, but I think we should just finish it. It's probably oh, not no, no, good. We're gonna finish it. I'm just wondering if the game ends as soon as like the difference is uh, bigger than that one. Oh, no. I mean, um, theoretically it's done. They can say, okay, I'm conceding. But uh, it's not finished if he scores a mandatory upgrade. He needs five points to make sure he wins. He scored... Uh, Sohum scored four points last game. So... To make sure that the victory is his, he needs yeah. five points. Yeah, 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 he needs exactly. He needs one more. Yeah, yeah. Every time Sohum takes too long to do something, I'm afraid he's dropped. Yeah. There we go. He's a steam hack as well. You think he's gonna use it? Mm, no. It doesn't make much sense. If I was him, I would use it next turn. Maybe. I would uh, use it as my first click. But he doesn't know that this is something he can break. I mean... Think of it like this, if these are two bioroids there, he can probably get through by using all his clicks. Maybe take some damage or something. But he does not, but he can easily break two, the two, two toll booths with his uh, peacock. It's going to cost him eight plus six. 
8 plus 6, 14. 14 credits to break. He has just enough to break both of them. So if he actually runs with his first clicks, he first click, he can actually steal that agenda. Um, the problem is he doesn't know it's two toll booths. Uh, if it's two bioroids, if it's two itsies, for example, he has a big problem. Um, it's unlikely that it's two itsies, though, because one itsie is already down. If it's a, a Heimdall and an itsie, he can break through. And it takes some brain damage, but he can break through. Uh, but I haven't seen a Heimdall, so I doubt that it's, uh, he's expecting one. The only thing yeah, he, he if wants... It's a Janus. If it's a Janus. Yeah. If it's a Janus, it's a Janus. But uh, you have to take some risks. Yeah, it's not looking good for him anyway. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a hard one. Yeah. I mean, it is difficult. He drew it a steam hack. What he can do is draw the cards now, uh, get, a, get some credits, and next turn run with Steam Hack and hope he's lucky. Um, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if he'll play it. On the tool booth, it's perfect, but it's expensive as well. Yeah, he won't have the money, and it'll take him too long. The that mandatory upgrades will be rest by the time he has money to install it. True, he has two turns. Oh, no, he won't be. He won't be. He has two turns to do it. So if he plays, uh, takes. Four credit, uh, two credits now. Next time he can get the. He really needed them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why he bothered. Oh, why? Why you do that? Why in the world did he want that Dyson chip now? If he actually took the money, he could have uh, next turn play the Femme Fatale. And regardless of the money, what good does the Dyson chip do him? Win the game? I think he's uh, almost given up by now. Nope, nope, getting into my R&D. Yeah, he just put a toll booth there. You will not get into R&D. And um, that's what he needs, because um, HQ, he doesn't care anymore. Any agenda yeah, he gets... Going... He wasn't going through R&D anyway, there's a Janus there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm not sure why he decided to put another tool, but maybe he just doesn't care anymore. He knows he has enough money. Or maybe he just doesn't want to wear the Janus, because it's too expensive. So he wants a uh, backup in case... Uh, uh, he tries to run R&D and he doesn't have enough money to rest the Janus. Yeah, maybe he doesn't want to rest the Janus because he wants to rest the ice on the other server too, so... Mm -hmm. That does make some sense. Okay, now we're going to see a second mandatory upgrades and then it's pretty much game over. Yeah, it's impossible from there. I think it was any way possible. I mean, these pad campaigns have been giving money so long. The uh, mandatory upgrades are just sitting there. The the advantage yeah, is, he... is overwhelming. Yeah, but even like uh, Sohum did not make the right moves. I mean, yeah, true. This Dyson chip does not make any sense. And and, and after he put that Dyson chip there, he drew eight points from the eight credits from the Armitage. Mm. Why bother? <laughs> Why even bother? <laughs> so, how, well, how much time Byron has to do is just draw cards, find the agenda, play it, run. Just don't torture the poor guy. Yeah, I know, it's, it's over. But it is interesting, if you think about that, um, he had so many opportunities to take control of this game. He could have been running R&D very early, he could have trashed those pad campaigns far sooner. It would have cost him six credits, which he could easily spare at the start of the game. And he could have even trashed that melange if he uh, uh, if he ran a bit more often. If he forced uh, he has Byron to uh, raise some ice. Yeah, he's definitely quite aggressive. I mean, like most criminals are. It's it's it encourages aggressive play, and he didn't yeah. play it. Like he, that, didn't, so. he didn't follow up at all. 
Wow. I, 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 was thinking, I was thinking I was going to see an Aurora. No, this thing's just not. No. Can, can we take screenshots? I don't remember the last time I've seen an Aurora. I actually play Aurora in my deck. Um, I have a, a R&D runner. Criminal. So I have three mediums and three data suckers. Um, and I do have Aurora because I don't have influence. So I run Aurora in Peacock and I actually run um, E3. But Aurora, the problem with Aurora is that um, it starts at 1. If it started at 2, it would have been so much better. It goes through the toll booth, through Sensei, through a lot of cards. No, it doesn't go through the toll booth. It's not a code break, gate breaker. But uh, it would oh, be... Sorry, sorry. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah Wall of, uh, of Thorns. And... Wall of Thorns, it would have been the same cost. But it would have been able to break the Wall of... Uh, sorry, Wall of Thorns. Yeah, sorry. We we're thinking Wall of Static. It would have been able to break uh, the Wall of Thorns with much less money. Okay. Game over. Yeah, oh, that's not right. game over. Actually, he's going no, to... No, red. But, yeah. Nothing's gonna happen. The game is the set is won. He got the uh, six points anyway. Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, it's. Um, there's no. But no, uh, Aurora. Well, there's nothing much to talk. So we can discuss the merits of Aurora. Uh, yes, Aurora. Sir. The funny thing about Aurora is I can actually break Hadrian's Wall with uh, I think the cheapest cost. It cost it six. If you have an E3, it costs it 7 to break uh, Hadrian's Wall. If we... Yeah. How much does a Corroder take? It takes 5? Six, no, Corroder takes exactly the same, so it's not it's cheaper. Okay, so he's going to play it. He's going to give it his best. Good sport, good yeah, sport. Yeah, no, no. He, he's going for it. Yeah. Do you have a criminal deck that runs Magnum Opus? Uh, no. I, I was thinking about my uh, criminal deck. I have basically um, an Aurora and a uh, Peacock and I run E3 because it can make its cost cheaper. Um, but most people have the impression, I think most people don't realize that Aurora increases its strength by 3. And um, it's not that more uh, expensive to break most barriers. Uh, it's slightly more expensive if you have E3. It's not like it's not a it's comparatively to Corroder, it's obviously much worse. But uh, you can make it work. You can, you, yeah, but linking E3 together with Aurora is not the best deal out there, so uh, hard yeah, to again, it. again, it depends on what you need your influence for. For example, with my um, with my uh, criminal, I use the influence for the mediums, and I can't really spare any more influence. And I need. Yeah, uh, that, that is true. Maybe I could use uh, Cripsis instead, but uh, Cripsis will probably cost me as much as an Aurora in the end. Yeah, no, Cripsis, Cripsis has its merits, but especially in early game. The yeah, the, the Cripsis are amazing at the start. You want the 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 ice you want to see in your starting the ice breaker you want to see in your starting ground is almost always Cripsis. It just allows you to break everything. It allows you to break that early melange, regardless of what's protecting it. And it's that's that's yeah, so get, powerful. Get some, some R and D. Do some runs that not only offer you some information regarding ice, but actually you get through them. It's yeah. a, it's not a cost-effective one, but uh, yeah, yeah, it can it, work very well. It allows you to run safely through any ice, so you can run blind on anything, and it allows you to get through important ice uh, as early as you need them. And especially for for Melange, if you if somebody gets a, an Enigma and you have a, a Corroder, that Melange is going to generate a lot of money. So you really want that out of the game as soon as possible. Is that the last uh, agenda? No, no, it's a corporate trouble, sure. Okay. Come on, just throw those agendas and finish the game. Unfortunately, that's the... Uh, uh, perils of uh, uh, an early league game. The matchup might be unfair. Uh, it might be a high skill player with a lower skill player, which is, no, is normal. It's no shame in being a lower skill player. But it can, it can end up in situations like this where the game just uh, goes on for no particular reason. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, the the. the some players are uh, more unexperienced than others, so it's like like most things, experience is a 
yeah. key point of the game, and you can you can see that Drinking is far more experienced than uh, Sokomo. Yeah. So. Well, the the one thing I can hope is that uh, when this video is released, Sohum will be able to get some uh, perspective, some outside perspective, and see what mistake he was doing. Yeah, yeah. Then we're we're just trying to provide positive feedback. So yeah. How? Like, uh, yeah, just for the fun of it. <laughs> I don't even care. I don't even care about it. Whatever. I'll just trust it. I bet you he didn't even look at it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He probably just wants the game to end. Yeah. I mean... On the other hand, it's the only... The uh, tall boot are the only things he can break, so... It makes yeah, a... there's one more thing. With five clicks, he doesn't care about yeah. ice. Yeah. He just needs something to get it in his hand, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. I mean... Again, again as, a, as a funny note, I think Anonymous Tip would be a very good card to splash right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Anonymous Tip is a very bad card. Yeah, it depends. depends how quickly your deck plays. I'm, sus I'm suspecting, for example... If you have some ge some deck that can play very fast, let's say with uh, a shipment for Mirror Morph and uh, stuff like that, um, maybe it will be worth it. Maybe it will be... <laughs> the poor guy is going to run smack first into two sentries. Okay. Yeah, he's not going to like that. It's game over, basically. Katana flatlines him. <laughs> an, an interesting game, but uh, yeah, we'll probably see more interesting matchups as time goes by. Yeah, we need to, um, uh, once the third round of the Swiss hits, we we'll probably see much more interesting one if we manage to get the top players to uh, allow us to cast. So, yeah, uh, nicely. yeah I think the, most people won't have an issue. But the problem is the scheduling. I need to be able to uh, really get the scheduling right. But I'm going to stop this recording now. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'll his we'll see you on the next one. Thank you, Andrew, for joining. Thank you for having me. And we'll repeat it soon enough.